So in our last section here, we're going to add a button at the bottom that's going to delete all of our completed to-dos. One quick thing first though, you may have noticed that at some point in time, when we have no to-dos, we lost our message that pops up at the bottom that tells the user, you don't have any to-dos, please add a to-do to get started. Well, if you flip over to Firebase, you might get an idea of what happened. When we delete all of our to-dos, we're not left with an empty object here uh, nest as, as items. So when we load our items, we just get back null. We don't get an object, we don't get an array, we don't get anything. And so over here, inside of our list component, this.props.items is going to return uh, null or false, which means we never have any items and we're never gonna see this message right here. So to fix our issue, all we have to do is delete this and statement right here and then we'll just flip like so, exclamation mark. And then sure enough, we get our message showing up. Fantastic. So we'll add our to-do back in. And I'll do one more. And why not do a third? Okay, so we'll mark two of these as being done so that we can test on these when we do our delete button. So let's go look at app.jsx where we're gonna put our button in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place in our button. Now we don't want our button to show up if the user doesn't have any items whatsoever. It would look kinda of strange to say, please add some items to get started, but then show a button to delete all their existing to-dos. So inside of our div right here, we're going to say this.delete button. And remember this div right here is going to be hidden when our content has not yet loaded. So we'll define delete button and we'll say if this dot state dot loaded just return nothing else return div class name text center clear complete oops and then we're going to put in a horizontal divide and finally our button type button we'll add an on click handler this dot on delete done click we'll add a class name just for styling button default and then our actual text which is clear complete, meaning clear out our completed to-dos. Okay, so now we'll implement our callback handler on delete done click. This is gonna be a function. And let's not forget our comma in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do in delete done click is to loop over our list of items and find any that are done. If it is done, we're gonna ask Firebase, our Firebase reference, to find that particular object and, uh, and simply, and just remove it. So we'll say for var key in this dot state dot items. So this is gonna loop over all of our loaded objects in our Firebase data store. If this dot state dot items at key so this is looking at a particular item, done is equal to true. Uh, we don't actually need to say equal to true here. We could just, you know, this is JavaScript for equality statements. We can just say done, but just to be 100% explicit, uh, we'll say true. This is just done in case, you know, maybe in the future we come back and add a new feature where uh, to do could be in progress, in which case maybe done would be a string that says in progress or something like that. So just kind of doing a little bit of future proofing in here. We will say, we're gonna ask Firebase to delete this object. So remember, unlike our list item, where we created a Firebase reference to a specific 
uh, to do item. The Firebase reference we have in app is looking at our entire data store, our, our entire database. So we can't just call remove on our database. What we want to do instead is select a particular to do, which we do with the child method right here. So this is going to say, look at our entire Firebase data store and find the particular element in there with a particular key. And when you find it, we'll just remove it. Cool. So let's save this and test it out in our browser. We've got our button on here and we'll say clear complete and unfortunately we get uh, cannot read property child of undefined. So what that means is uh, we forgot one little step in here. We forgot to save uh, our Firebase reference on this up in component will mount. So if we just put in this.fb, this.fb, and this.fb. So now that we have that reference fixed, we'll save. Let's try it again. And cool, let's verify that worked over on our Firebase dashboard. And it sure did. We've only got one to-do left. Let's do one last little step here and just put some bottom margin on this button right here just to clean things up a little bit. We have the handy class name clear complete. So I'm just going to copy this. We'll go over to index.html and then we're just going to add one more rule in here. Margin, bottom, and we'll do another 15 picks. Remember our HTML, or excuse me, our CSS doesn't auto reload. So we're going to refresh the page. And hey, all right, looks pretty good. Let's give it a spin. Uh, we'll say buy some groceries. And we will do some homework. I don't know about you, but today I've already taken out my garbage. Uh, I don't really do homework anymore per se, so we'll change this to just do some work and save it. And what the heck, we'll say clear complete because we already took out the garbage today. And that's it, that's our whole to-do list. And on the next section, uh, we're gonna start with an introduction to Flux. Hope to see you there.